The reanimated event is one of the best events in the Division 2. In case you've been off planet for the past week, activating this game mode in your season menu turns Washington DC into zombie land. Headshot kills grant bonus XP. Chain killing with headshots give even more bonus XP. Directives multiply XP. More XP means you level up faster. And each time you level up during this game mode, you gain a red star. Red stars are a form of currency that you can use at the season vendor to buy named item caches. Named item caches contain the best gear in the game, including Dark Zone exclusives. As you can see, I've collected 228 stars over the course of the event so that I can buy these named item caches. And then I'm gonna spend them all right now and open all the named item caches back to back so that we can evaluate the quality let's see what we get and the first item is the forge with headshot damage which is actually not bad next up is the surge sword of play down now that we have in sync also not very exciting this drops all the time right on and we got the rock and roll with beautiful rolls on it. Now I already have one of these, but this is great. Look at that quality. I mean, almost God roll. And this is a Dark Zone exclusive shotgun. And the sacrifice also with really good rolls, weapon handling and crit damage. And then next is the Devil's Do with really good rolls on it also. This comes with perfect clutch, which I actually like. Anyways, this is also a Dark Zone exclusive, our second for this set. And the safety distance, this one's okay. And the Chain Killer chest piece, it's got headshot damage and pretty decent weapon damage on it, so it's not bad. And we got a new Reliable with Rain of Fire. I actually like this. The rolls are really good on this. I'll just have to roll that damage to targets out of cover, and there we go. Actually, this is really nice. I'm going to keep this one. Another Surge, Duplicate, boo. But look at the quality. Jeez, Triple God roll. Wow. And another Devil's Dude, which has perfect clutch, of course, and is also a Dark Zone exclusive. Oh, and the Virginian, it's beautiful. Oh, one of my favorite rifles in the game. Built on the 1886 with perfect boomerang. It's got so much power. And this one is actually really good. And it's a Dark Zone exclusive. So right on, lots of Dark Zone exclusives so far. The percussive maintenance with perfect tech support. It's actually got nice rolls on it. It's got skill damage. Right on, another set of death grips, and look at those rolls. I cannot complain at all. I actually just got one recently with status effects, but it wasn't god roll. This one is, and I'm gonna keep it. So what I'm gonna do is re-roll that to a skill tier and then use this on the status effects build. So, really cool. All right, let's go purchase some more named item caches. We got money to spend. All right, here we go again. Pristine Example is actually really good right now. This Araldi brand set called Pristine Example comes with Perfect Focus, which is one of the best talents in the game. Just recently created that SVD build with it, and SVD builds are gonna be OP, I think, with the new exotic MMR that is. Well, look at this White Death. That is beautiful, perfect in every way. I'm gonna keep it just like it is. And I run this one all the time. This is definitely a keeper. It's not an ex uh, Dark Zone exclusive. Another pair of death grips right on. Wow, wow, look at that triple god rolls. This is what I'm talking about. This is why the named item caches are the best thing to buy and totally worth the grind. It is really paying off. This is our second pair of death grips in this set. And these are Dark Zone exclusives and they're both practically god rolled. The other one was god rolled. This one is really, really, really close to being triple god rolled. It's got Hasbro and armor on it. And the Rail Splitter, another Dark Zone exclusive and actually one of my favorite assault rifles in the game. Definitely up there. That was perfectly accurate, which gives you 50% accuracy, but what's interesting is that they gave us more accuracy. So we have basically 60% accuracy with this thing and we can get more. So, wow, yeah. I mean, I might just keep it just like it is and just reroll that accuracy to max since I already have one with damage to targets out of cover. These are paying off, guys. It was worth the grind already. I can say that right now. Another sacrifice, right on. With skill damage and crit damage and max weapon damage. Really good roll on this. And the battery pack, I uh, but I actually really like perfectly calculated. And with skill haste makes it perfect actually. So I'd roll skill damage instead of explosive resistance and that makes it perfect. I created an unlimited seeker build without hardwired using the battery pack. 
and a force multiplier. This is not Dark Zone exclusive, but a really good backpack. Caesar's Guard. This one has max skill damage. I might already have it. And the Ferocious Calm. Nice. This is a named Fenris chess piece that is Dark Zone exclusive, and it's beautiful. It comes with perfect overwatch, and it's got crit damage and weapon damage on it, which means you can take that health off and put crit chance, which is usually needed on most assault rifle builds. This is a play from cover one, which really cool is that you only have to be in cover for eight seconds before it kicks in. And a Hollow Man mask, Dark Zone exclusive. And this one comes with repair skills. So I'll probably keep it just like it is and then reroll that armor to a skill tier. Another battery pack. Wow, with some double God roll, triple God, it's God roll all the way around. And the Baker's Dozen, wow. With optimal range, I like that with optimal range. Look what it does to that. I really like what it did to the optimal range. I'm wondering if I put the optimal range scope on it, if it'll take it to 100%. The Anarchist Cookbook, and this one's is actually not very good. The Mozambique Special, boo! The Orbit, Dark Zone exclusive, with max damage to armor, that's perfect. Everybody needs to have at least one Orbit. And another White Death, let's see what this one gives us. Strain, crit damage, oh, not a big fan of that. And our last named item, Cash. Another pair of Death Grips, I think that's our was that our third or fourth? I don't remember now. <gasps> and it's triple God World. Almost, almost. But it is hazard protection again. So that's, you know, we did get that one already. But wow. We got 11 named items. Wow, 11 out of 31 is really impressive. 35.5% are Dark Zone exclusives. That really, really is amazing. 35%, guys. And that's why I farmed the hell out of these events. And that's why I always try to get at least 160 red stars so that I have the odds in my favor. The more we have, the better our chances are of getting something that we're looking for. And we got quite a few keepers. So 35% of those are Dark Sun exclusives, and I'm definitely keeping lots of gear here, which is going to help me create lots of cool new builds for you guys. This build breaks the Foundry Bulwark set and challenges everything you think you know about makeshift repairs. It has fast time to kill and fast heals. Tuxedo out.